Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a Chet Atkins lick from the song Oh by Jingo. I'm Brian Baker, Brian Baker Guitar Studio. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more. So here we go, Chet Atkins, Oh by Jingo. Great song, but it's got some real kind of twisty little riffs in it that are sometimes hard to get your hands around. So that intro riff is one in particular that I want to go over. Okay, so what that uses is your A minor chord, and it starts off with a hammer on. So you do a hammer on, open to the second fret. Now, if you have the tab for this, this is where things can get a little confusing sometimes, because the tab will say open two with A minor written on top, right? But it's always, a lot of times with this music, with especially with the finger style arrangements, it's easiest to do it when you make the full chord. So everything will always mostly be there all the time. If you always make the full chord, everything should already be in the chord that's written in the tab. So that's the case with this riff. So what happens is you do open two, and what I'm gonna do there, I'm gonna take both these fingers off and go open two. So I'm gonna do thumb, hammer on, and then pick it again with my index finger on my G, that's G to A. And I'm gonna hit my thumb up here on the open A. So I get Otherwise, I'd be doing this. Much easier to do with the chord because it's going to lead up to the next part, which... Now, this is the neat part here. This is what happens here. He goes on the D string, um, thumb, index finger. Okay? And then you're going to do this pinch and hammer onto that A from the G string. Okay, that's a riff that can take a little bit of work, and it's all on the right hand. What's going on again? I'm on my D string, I'm going thumb index, then it's uh, middle finger and the A string, and then I'm hammering onto here. So on the A minor chord, okay, hopefully this tip helps you out. Play uh, Oh by Jingle. Let's do one more riff from that song. This one. Okay, so what happens there is it's three, two, zero from the B string all the way up to the C note. Great riff to have. All right. So there's two riffs from a song Old by Jingo that you can use to uh, help enhance your playing in the style of Chet Atkins.